Family members of dozens of migrants killed in a fire at a Mexican detention facility near the U.S. border are demanding to know why it happened. Video from the center shows a horrifying scene which Mexican officials blamed on the detainees themselves. The Biden administration is moving to bring the injured to the U.S. for medical treatment. Jonathan Vigliotti has more on the tragedy and the reaction. Viangeli Infante screamed in horror as she found her husband laying inside an ambulance after a fire ripped through a detention center over the border from El Paso, Texas. <laughs> Surveillance video from inside the center shows a fire in a cell. Officials appear to casually walk away as the flames grow and smoke fills the room. At least 38 people died and roughly 30 were injured. Esto tuvo que ver con una protesta. Mexico's president said some migrants set mattresses ablaze after learning they would be deported. Investigators have not confirmed any other details. Many victims' family members say before the fire, Mexican police arrested migrants off the streets and threw them into the cells. Tensions at the border have been high. Several weeks ago, a large group of migrants, many whom were seeking asylum, tried to force their way across an international bridge into El Paso. And just yesterday, U.S. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was taken to task by Republican senators. Because you're the only person in the Milky Way who believes that we're not having massive, massive illegal immigration into America. There is no question that we have a very serious challenge. A challenge that has again ended in tragedy. This migrant from Venezuela blaming the fire on growing desperation. It was one of the biggest causes for losing control, he said. For CBS Mornings, Jonathan Vigliotti, Los Angeles.